And let's discuss the standard. What would a reasonable police officer do? Okay. What would a reasonable police officer do? You don't look at this from George Floyd's perspective. Okay, It's not what a reasonable victim would do. You don't look at it from the bystander's perspective. What would a reasonable bystander do? But under the law, you don't look at it from the defendant's perspective either. You look at it from the perspective of a reasonable officer. And the evidence in this case has shown over and over that the defendant is not that officer because he did not act as a reasonable officer would. So remember Charles McMillan? Okay. Well, the defendant explained his actions. He explained the basis of his actions to Charles McMillan. You recall that. Here's what he said. Yeah, and I thought he didn't get in the car. Looks like he's probably on something. That was his justification for using this level of force. He's a big guy. He's a sizable guy. He might be on something. We have to control him. Control is the restraint. So that's the force. His two justifications were that George Floyd was big and that he might be on something. Well, you know the standards. You've heard the standards many times. You know the difference between a risk and a threat. Officers are authorized to use force to respond to a threat. They're not authorized to use force to respond to a risk. Anybody poses a potential risk. Big, small, in between. Everybody's a risk. Not everybody's a threat. Being large, the act of being large, it's not a crime. It's not a risk. Sorry, it's not a threat. It's merely a risk. Being on something, being on something, it's not a threat. It may be a risk, but it's not a threat. And force is not authorized against someone merely because they're on something. And when questioned, their force expert witness conceded that the combination of the two, being large and being on something, is not a justification for the use of force. It just isn't. That's not what they get to do. So the defendant's entire basis, his explanation to Charles McMillan at the time, at the scene, right afterwards, after he got up off of Mr. Floyd and tossed him onto that gurney and walked away like it was nothing. That was his explanation. It's not good enough. It's not procedure. It's not the use of force policy. It's not following the rules. 